Ethereum can not only be used in big factories, mobile industries, and the medical world, but also provides a unique solution for the aviation industry. The company is constantly building on new solutions and experiences. Through its acquisition of Spaceview, customers can visualize and place 3D virtual objects in the real world, creating rich, mixed reality experiences. Ethereum has also adapted their Air Enterprise application for use on Android tablets. According to Suleiman, his young, dynamic, dedicated team builds his vision and makes things possible. So you mentioned about team. What is the team looking like today? Yeah, our team is uh, around 30 people. And of course, as you'd expect, they're mostly engineers, uh, software engineers working on our two products. So in a startup, I'm curious, when you hire people, uh, what is it that you look for in a person as a team member of a startup, yeah. which I'm assuming will be di very different uh, from you know a multinational looking for a person? The first thing is attitude. So you want somebody who has the right approach to things as, as the company, where they're, they're look at how work should be done, communication, and just the chemistry uh, is all right for the company. And then it's intelligence. That's the second thing, it's not the first thing. And the third is experience in that order. I'm Thank super excited and really this is incredible and uh, you don't know what I just felt uh, looking at the screen. It was augmented reality, not virtual reality and I loved it. I'm glad that you loved it. Thank you so much for coming here. We are now going to talk to Chris who is going to walk us through the marketing journey of Ethereum. Chris, you've been with the company for the last five years. Now tell me, how has this company evolved in the last five years? Well, when we started, we were actually trying to basically be like a different version of Google Glass, basically fitting for consumers. And so to evolve from that to really knowing what use cases we serve on an enterprise scale uh, and moving from a company that made hardware to show off our software to being purely a software solution. Tell me a little bit more about Athir. What is Athir? Ethir, as I understand it, is Arabic for kind of the air around you and what you could be interacting with on, uh, day to day. And so obviously it's a name from our, our founder that created. Now, what is the single most important benefit? What is the most important thing that people look for in that product? I think the most important thing is just the efficiency. And so we're able to just make problems get solved quicker or faster than by doing what may be done today at these organizations. So walk me through an experience that you really sold the product to a customer who benefited and how did that experience go for you? I think generally where we really see the biggest benefit and, and really kind of aha moments with our customers is really when we're able to directly impact some of their business units and, and revenue streams with reducing downtime on a particular manufacturing line, reducing travel time for some of their subject matter experts to get onto a location, or maybe not having to go to that location at all, allowing them to spend more time with, with family and, and being at home. So tell me a little bit more about your experience with the company in the startup space and how did that go for you? And what do you really do to keep yourself collected in this environment? Uh, collected is, is kind of, I think, kind of easy to do. I mean, everyone's pretty singular focused here. It's a really interesting experience working in a startup, I think, besides working in a really large organization. Uh, the team is incredibly close and it, it spans a whole lot of expertise and backgrounds and it touches on just so many different people that you, you get to know and come across. And what is possible tomorrow? I think you'll see a lot more power on the various glasses that we do partner with from a computing wise, um, which will really allow for a lot more of the kind of contextual augmented reality um, applications that you, that you see today. Where do you see this company in the next five years? I think it'll evolve quite a bit. I think the software uh, from an air experience and an air enterprise uh, standpoint will get a lot more features than we could imagine or even think about today. And I think the hardware partners that we partner with will be able to advance their devices even further with price points, sleekness of the device, and just the capabilities that, that they really unlock for software providers like Ethereum. So how are you impacting the world with Ethereum? 
I think we're really just making work easier than what is today and able to have you be more efficient and spend that time gained elsewhere. So you're saving time for people, which is the most precious thing around, right? Yep, absolutely. Saving time, changing world, that's phenomenal. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Of course. Well, gadgets, gadgets everywhere, but Athir Air is one of the most exciting gadgets that I have come across recently. We'll find out the future and when we can really hold an Athir and wear it and see the phone screen in front of our eyes. Let's wait for that. We'll come back next week, same time, same place with yet another exciting product. So don't forget to tune in then.